Hello everyone, I'm Isabella. Welcome to my channel. I have empties today. I have few products, they're old. I'm trying to get rid of them and I'll tell you why I didn't use them or I use them, I didn't like them or something, but let's go through because I have a lot. Uh, a lot of them are going to be travel size uh, packaging empties containers uh because we've been traveling uh, and i was gone for three months so i took a lot of things with me uh, let's go ahead and get started talk with the product that didn't work out for me at all i didn't like actually at all uh it's not your mother's curl talk uh refreshing curl foam this is what it looks like it's full because i used only one time i didn't like it the foam it's quite liquidy it was not good it just made my hair um weird i i just didn't like the curl so i'm gonna get rid of this mario badascu i think it's called the facial spray with aloe and herbs and rose water uh, i love this but i i got this big bottle uh from ulta for uh four or five years ago so i think it's time to get rid of it and it was on my countertop for a very long time and i didn't use it so yeah i love it though but i don't know it's just too old and i just forgot to use it <laughs> i don't know but yeah i have uh really this is so old and i was cleaning up my makeup uh drawer well the container i have for it but i found this literally i think this is the first kit from the one of them eyeshadows that she came out the matte colors this is so old and uh, i used a lot kind of you cannot tell i did not this colors though and not the purple but the neutrals i used and um yeah and then a little bit my sister used and i was like you know what it's too old didn't use it for years it was just i felt i don't know bad to throw away it was kind of sentimental thing it was my first eyeshadow in us actually it was my first year when i came to united states i bought it but i'm like hey come on you don't need to keep it come on but yeah so i used up elta md uh skincare uv elements and this is a broad spectrum cannot talk uh sp44 i cut it the container so the funny thing is i saw a video and this girl had the same issue with the alta um uh packaging uh the sunscreen packaging the pump doesn't take all the product out when the product is right over here the pump doesn't come out because the it's a thing that they have to do better job. i love this um but the packaging i wish ulta not ulta <gasps> elta am i saying it ulta the whole time i don't know but it's elta md <laughs> okay the Elta MD skincare, I wish they heard the YouTubers. They have more tons of subscribers. I don't know if they watch them. I wish they hear them and change the packaging. The product is amazing. Do I love it? I repurchased it. So that's that. And I used up, no, kind of didn't use up, but Timeless uh, Skincare Vitamin C, the 20% Vitamin C i love the product i hate this new packaging and i heard a lot of people had the same issue it's a pump it's awesome that it's a pump but um the pump leaks i am actually awful meaning i have ocd i clean everything i use right away my foundation where it pumps the pump is i clean every time i cannot have any spots or anything this is disgusting and it leaks everywhere well when you pump it even you pumping it on your hand it just leaks somehow it leaks everywhere but it's a waste of product and it got actually oxidized uh fast this time i don't know so i stopped using it but i used quite a lot of it but yeah uh container not a big fan it's awful actually 
don't like it my favorite body scrub is tree hut is the firming sugar scrub italian mocha this is my favorite one they have different scents uh there are different colors and all that but this is my favorite I love, well you cannot say anything but yeah um the um italian mocha my favorite 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 uh target used to i mean they have all the scents besides this one i hope they're not discontinuing this one because it has coffee in it it's amazing smells amazing and it's if you have really really sensitive skin i wouldn't suggest this to you because it's a bit um rough i would say but the coffee especially in him in it but i love this it's amazing okay since i was traveling um i used up before i left uh i used up the big bottle this is the four ounce of timeless uh q10 serum this is i cannot live without this okay i'm serious this is just amazing thanks to um angie hot and flashy i just love this thanks to her <sighs> yeah adore it and i took three of the small ones with me when i was traveling i used two of them and i used the, the third only half of that so yeah i'm literally drinking it i use this day and night love it on my eyes it's just amazing doesn't matter if you have oily skin or dry skin it's amazing you need this okay i have some shiseido stuff that i used up okay let's go i have a lot of it my eye cream shiseido beneficence wrinkle resist 24 this is the uh my last jar that i used up they discontinued uh, i mean they brought up the new version of this and it's more expensive and it's not the same consistency it's not doing what this does so i'm really sad actually but yeah this was my last one and this was my holy grail product it was amazing um okay and i have a few other uh shiseido future solution lx this is a day cream look how small it is because the price of the regular size of this uh line of the shiseido is their fancy schmancy line um it's crazy expensive uh i think it's uh, around 300 something 200 something they're crazy expensive it i mean it was nice using it it just didn't do any magic my wrinkles are still there you know what i'm saying and i have future uh solution xl wait a minute is this the same thing oh this is with spf this is without spf i'm lying okay now i'm tripping okay this has spf 18 spf i honestly feel like they're the same thing this is a bit thicker than this one kind of okay but i would not repurchase this because these are so expensive that's a bit ridiculous for me at least i don't know but as i said shiseido products are amazing shiseido treatment softener enrich the lotion and uh, this is another lotion but uh, beneficence uh, wrinkle resist 24 line i took all these uh, travel sizes to with uh, armenia with me so i used all this uh, it's toner okay it's a toner while it's jumping out of my hand <laughs> love it i i actually prefer this one a bit better than this one i have full size of this i have kirkland uh daily facial towelettes i had more i used up more of these i might have more over here i love this i always have this this is the first thing usually i take off my makeup and then i cleanse it with the clinic uh balm the thingy that's my favorite thing ever oh and i purchased a lot of these uh what is it the brand tony tony molly tony moly um and i took to armenia with me i usually get the hydrating or the illuminating lumi i don't remember but mostly i get the hydrating one because that's all i need hydration all the time i really like this yeah they're really nice they give me nice hydration and an extra <gasps> extra i put on my chest so yeah it's quite nice i love those 
I used up L'Oreal Ever Pure Sulfate Free. This is the Freeze Defy Shampoo. I usually don't buy the uh, conditioner. I use different conditioner. But yeah, I really like this. I usually get the Freeze one. Um, but um, yeah, it's good. I, I'm not going to say this is my favorite thing, but it's good. I usually, I usually have this in my shower. Uh, here and there I use it. I used up a Bath & Butter Work hand soap. I don't know if you want to hear anything about it. This is some avocado. It was good. It was good. I was repurchased it. It was not amazing, but it was good. Okay. Oh, I took this with me to Armenia because I have the KP uh, problem with my skin. I mentioned this million times on my <laughs> in my videos. Uh, but this is a, this was a new product before I left Ole KP Bump Body Scrub. Um, I don't know. This was um, I have another one from First Aid Beauty. I think it's called uh, for KP uh, skin. Um, I think I preferred that one better, but this was a bit too, um, gentle. You know what I mean? Too gentle. I feel like I don't put, I'm not putting any scrub on me. Uh, yeah, that one is a bit more scratchy, but not aggressive. It's not aggressive, but I like it. I would repurchase it actually. It's not bad actually. It's not bad. I'm sorry that I say actually a lot. I try my best not to. Uh, Christine Less shampoo. Uh, yeah, shampoo only. I got this shampoo from Target because of the packaging. The product is crap. <laughs> I'm sorry, it is. It's awful. I literally couldn't put my fingers through my hair to massage it. It's awful. Used it once or twice. It's quite full. I'm gonna go. CeraVe moisturizing lotion for natural to dry skin. Okay, this is a lotion, right? For dry skin? No. It depends what they mean when they say dry skin. If you're extremely dry, well, it doesn't say extremely dry skin. I was an extremely dry skin before, uh, but it doesn't work for me. Um, for my body, it's not enough. And more for my face, I used to use this for my face too. Not enough. Um, quite full. It was on my counter for two years. <laughs> Didn't use it because it's not enough. It's not enough moisture for me. But it's a really, really good product. If you have normal skin, a little bit dryness, uh, combination skin, this would be awesome product for you. Yes, I really like CeraVe, but this is a bit too light for me. That's all. Okay, uh, Dove Instant Foaming Body Wash, Sensitive Skin. I love this product. I just love this product. It smells amazing. It's so gentle. I don't know if I can open it. It smells amazing. Yeah, and it's really nice. It's not drying out my skin when I'm getting out of the shower. I really like this product. I already repurchased it. I'm using it currently. And okay, Pantene uh, Smooth and Silk Shampoo, fight freeze for 48 hours. I don't know if it's true or not, but uh, I always have this in my shower. This is a must have. I, this is the only shampoo so far it doesn't dry my hair out. So it's possible to wash your hair like a normal human being, okay? I love this shampoo, must have. Okay, I used up my Curology uh, Tretin-A uh, product. <laughs> uh, yeah, love this and it's not sponsored, okay? Okay, uh, I kind of used up with my husband sharing Clinics Moisture Surge 72 hour auto replenishing hydro too long okay i'm not gonna read all that you know the gel normal there uh i think this is the most popular um face cream that um clinic has uh too light for us my husband as well his skin is really really dry so we need all the fatty <laughs> greasy stuff i'm kidding but yeah he uses almost the same things that i use the same stuff because well I tell him, hey, use this, use that. But yeah, uh, 
would not repurchase this, but it's a really good product. I know um, that uh, if you have, he used this summertime mostly because, you know, sweating and all that, and he hates feeling uh, cream on his face, like a moisture. <laughs> he hates it. He's a man, you know. He loved this summertime, but it's a bit too old. So I'm throwing away, even though there's like a little bit left. But yeah, that's that. So I have two Urban Decay uh, setting sprays, the baby ones. I took it with me to Armenia. I used the mop. I really like, I, this is my favorite one, the hydrating one. But uh, yeah, both are actually really nice. I like them a lot. Okay, almost there. So I used up uh, Clinique's Take the Day Off eye makeup remover uh, when I was in Armenia. <laughs> I really love this, but to me, it does the same thing that Neutrogena does. So I don't buy the Clinique. This was a gift, so I just used it up. I love it. It removes everything, but yeah, love it. And I had this uh, Moisture Surge Eye 96 Hour Hydrofiller Concentrate. Did I say from Clinique? Uh, actually, I use this all over my face and around my eyes. And I have a little bit left. I took this with me to Armenia, but um, I noticed a little bit of bumps on my face um, and I stopped using it. But as you can see, I used a lot of it. That's why I noticed, I knew it was, this was the only different thing that I used in my skincare. Uh, so I knew it was this, okay. I used up this uh, Bum Bum Cream, but this is the Coco Bana cream, Cocobana cream. I didn't like the scent of it. It's the coconut one. I mean, it smells nice, but not on my skin. Let's talk about makeup now. So I purchased this NARS uh, eye pencil, high pigment long wear eyeliner. Okay. And this is the shade Mambo. So I saw this makeup artist Oh goodness, I don't remember his name. Hadi Hadish. I don't remember. He's an amazing makeup artist. Um, he, this is his favorite eye pencil or eyeliner. And when he was applying on the models, uh, sorry, I was checking my camera. When he was applying on the models, I fell in love with the color because it's kind of reddish color. So when I went to purchase this, uh, I took the tester, I tried it. It was like wiggly inside of the pencil. It was wiggly. I could tell it was kind of dried out. And then um, I wanted to buy, she gave it to me, uh, one, and I opened it. It was again wiggly. I was like, hmm, that's weird. Uh, so I didn't purchase. I asked them to order from me. I assumed it will come from somewhere else and it will be new meaning fresh because i could tell that the pen pencil eyeliner whatever um it's old because it's separated it's like wiggles in it you know it will come off you know the came product and it was the same thing so the pencil even when you're applying it you have hard time well, not you. I have hard time to apply it. It doesn't go smoothly because it's dried out. It literally doesn't even paint it really good. It doesn't give you the color. Uh, it's, it doesn't look like uh, the, the one that he uses because it's so smooth and creamy. This one is like drags like... You know what I mean? And it broke. And the whole thing before it broke came out. So... When you buy a pencil, try If it wiggles, it's old. You have to return this. Don't waste your money. And it's expensive. It was like 20 something dollars. I don't remember. And this is half of it. I'm sad, a little bit disappointed, mad. I have to, I don't know if I want to purchase another one or maybe that's a NARS thing. It's or their liners are there like that, which is disappointing if it is because that's, not good quality it's not good i have only one last thing to show you it's uh maybelline studio 
Eye Studio uh, Gel Liner. This is a really good product. I didn't use it up completely, but I used a lot of it. But I don't use them anymore. Gel liners or uh, liquid liners rarely. Uh, so yeah, it's just dried out. But it's a good one if you're looking for a nice uh, drugstore gel liner. So yeah, that's all I got. I actually brought a lot of trash with me from Armenia. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Uh, but uh, yeah, because uh, I tried to do the video over there, but uh, it was just impossible. I had no time. Yeah, I hope it wasn't too long. Hopefully not. I tried to go as fast as I could. But uh, yeah, thanks again. Thanks for staying with me. Take care. Bye.